So there's one thing Netherlands is famous for, which is the bikes. Huh? You raise your hand. Is it recording? Recording. Can you zoom out and see if it's like good? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So on. But then there's okay. okay. So there's one thing what Netherlands is famous for is the bicycles. But then there's also this one more thing which I saw when I came here and those things are everywhere and they are yes, the windmills. Welcome to Let's Meet Abroad. We are Adi and Mira. So four months ago, I moved to the Netherlands. And since then, I have been wondering why there are so many windmills in the Netherlands. So we took our bikes and headed to a few windmill parks to find out why. So guys, in the Netherlands, there are about 11,000 windmills. So there must be a lot of energy produced by these. Do you really think the Netherlands is a green paradise? But before we answer this question, let's take you back in the past. Windmills are said to have appeared in the Netherlands as early as the 12th century. And as the time passed by, their designs were changing quite a bit. And the one which you see exactly these ones, they were installed in 1672. So there were a lot of windmills similar to these installed all over the Netherlands. And of course the main job was agriculture, but some of them were also used for manufacturing. But there was also this one more reason why these windmills were introduced in the, in the Netherlands. And that was to draining water from one side to the other. So as some of you guys or most of you guys might know, that one third land of the Netherlands that's under the sea level. So way back in the day, people were using windmills to drain water from one side of the land to the ocean and that's how they would get the dry land. And eventually as the time progressed and there were new inventions, the usage of these windmills, they were declining and it declined drastically with the introduction of steam power. So now if you go to some of the major places in the Netherlands, you'd find these windmills. So now they're just kept as world heritage. And there's a place called Kinderdijk where you would find 19 of these. And if you go on Instagram, you would see plenty of beautiful photos from that place. So there are windmills like that and they are just preserved just to keep as a world heritage and just to show people the story of when it all began. So you must be thinking, there are about 11,000 windmills in the Netherlands. There must be a lot of renewable energy produced from these windmills. But in reality, that's not the case. According to Eurostat, Netherlands is ranked the third lowest country in Europe to produce renewable energy. And the main reason behind that is the geographical location of this country. Because it's a flat landmass, there's no hydro energy being produced and there's not enough sun throughout the year to produce a significant amount of solar energy. So the only option we are left with is the wind energy. And having one side of the country next to the coastal region and because of its flat surface, there's a huge potential to generate wind energy. And do you see these big windmills behind us? It's one of the biggest windmill parks from the Netherlands. And fun fact, one of these big ones, they replace 50 small windmills. 50? So 50, wow. yeah. First we had all, like everywhere, all farmers, they had like these small ones. Okay. One of them. Exchanging but it's 50. so big, like how long it takes even to install no, one of that's these? That's also really funny, like on land it takes two months to install a windmill and you also have them on sea and on sea it just takes one day. So. Yeah, if you know why, how come, let us know in the comments because we don't know. But that's such a big difference, like two months and one day. Yeah, it's, but there are also a few downsides of having windmills. And I will take you up to Earth to show you, yeah, to show you these. Downsides? Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. So in my back you see these big, big windmills and even there, there are even more. And for years, really for years, Urk, the people who are living here, they protested against these windmills because yeah, it's like an old, old village and they are polluting the whole skyline with windmills. But it was no success, they're still here. But you must be thinking, like they're here for good cause, they're producing energy for so many households. But unfortunately, that's not always the case. 
Ja, van België naar de opening van het grootste windpark op land in Nederland, midden in de Wieringenmeer. Ja, vorige week is Nederlands grootste windmolenpark op land geopend in de Wieringenmeer, boven in Noord-Holland. Dat zijn 82 windmolens van 180 meter hoog. Dat is vet, hè? Kijk, de hoeveelheid groene stroom die het park produceert is gelijk aan het verbruik van 370.000 huishoudens. En weet je voor hoeveel huishoudens die stroom gaan leveren? Nul! All of the energy is going to Microsoft. And you would think like, well, why is Microsoft using that much of energy? But it all goes to data centers. And uh, apparently the Netherlands is really popular for data centers because we have a uh, stable climate, we don't have wars. Uh, and oh yeah, we are in tax paradise. Was het dus al duidelijk dat er geen groene stroom zou overblijven voor huishoudens? Microsoft heeft die deal gesloten met de bouwer van het windpark, het Zweedse Wattenval. And what do you guys think about this? So let us know in the comments below. And ja. Yeah. Let's start a little discussion. So yeah, and once again guys, thank you so much for watching. That was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to watch more videos like this, just comment down below, let us know. And also just like this video and we'll see you guys in the next one.